Hello everyone. Today's topic is how to create a new payment process profile. So the client requirement is to create new payment process profile for supplier payments. What are the prerequisites are required? So mentioned below as we need to have the place before we are going to create triple P. In short form, we can say as triple P. Payment formats, payment system, and uh, payment system account, transmission configurations. So payment formats is most important. After we complete the process, I mean to say batch payments, how the payments are going to generate in which formats. So that this is the important and the system payment system also we need to create and transmission configuration. Transmission configuration is nothing but after we generate payment file, how we are going to deliver this particular payment file from Fusion payables to bank servers. So that's where we can use this particular task, transmission configuration. So that we'll discuss in the next coming comments. So here I have given a couple of brief about this process. A payment process profile is a setup entity that controls payment processing. The payment method and other invoice attributes drive the assignment of a payment process profile to each document payables, right? So these are the couple of significant of tasks what we need to perform to understand about this triple P. So let, let's get into application to create a new triple P. So once login, go to navigation, set up and maintenance, and select functional area as financiers, and select here payables. So here also, here we can have two things, see payments and payables, both are there. And we can go by the particular functional area. That's one method. And sec second method is that go to global search, click on search. If you know the task name exactly, then it, this is the way you can go on search it. Main is payment process. Profile, click on search. See, it will come automatically. This is the another way to get the task details. Click on manage for. Yeah, this is the one. If you want to search, which was already created in the application, you can give the name if you're aware of it, and then click on search button. And now, our requirement is that we need to create a new one. So just click on create button. It will take a while. So meanwhile, we'll try to explain this mandatory fields, what we are here. Some name, uh, I mean, say triple P name and the code, which will take automatically from the name and the processing type, which one, either it is a printed or electronic. This can be taken care by client. So as being as a consultant, we need to get the right information from the client at the time of gathering the requirements, either to electronic or printed. Right and uh, payment system. That's what we discussed with comments. Here we have different type of payment systems. Which one you want to go for? That we need to select it here. And similarly, payment file format. This is what we discussed previous discussion. Here we can 
free, you can choose that which he wants to go for it. So these are the mandatory fields which you have to provide it while creating the triple P. Yeah, see here. So this is the page which is having a lot of information and a lot of configuration has to be done. So we'll, buy, we'll go by one by one. Name. Let's say example, design underscore triple P. This is for my triple P name. So code you can give description so you can copy paste and you can give the from date. Let's say example, if you are going to defining this configurations for your client, which year, that's most important thing we have to keep in mind while implementing the this particular triple P. And if you want to give end date, that also possible here. If you don't want to use this particular payment process profile next couple of months, then you can give the end date by the choosing the calendar here. And payment file format. Since I didn't get create anything, which already we have in standard things here, you can take it out. Standard temporary, which already is seeded one, we'll take it out. Standard check format. Say okay. And the processing type, either electronic or check. So in this case, just I want to go for printed check. Just observe that after we select a processing type, what the system will display the parameters here or attributes. It will take a while. So in the meanwhile, we'll try to look at this all the tabs, what it is saying and how when we are going to use these tabs. So here you can see now usage rules and the payment system, payment, payment files, grouping, reporting, and additional information. These fields are there, right? So under usage rule, how we are going to use this particular process profile. I mean just say triple P, right? So here. After we selecting processing type, see it is, it is automatically populating the printer details. If you're selecting electronically, it won't come. It will come in the different way of that, right? So if you go, if you want to see that, I will show you how it looks like. So before that, just I will show you. See here, after we selecting the processing type as a printed, so default payment document. So this is important. This I think already we discussed in the previous session while we created the bank account. From there, it will pick the this particular payment document number and the payment file. So here we have the options send to file or send to printer. If you want to send the file, it is, once you select this one, it will go over the file. Or if you want to print the check, then you need to select this option in order to print the check for the subway payments while we're creating. Automatically print after formatting which are the one you want to you can create it here and uh, actually whether at the client place you can enable this particular default printer but it is since it is uh, testing see it's not, not not required here so come down see here it says rules so here payment method and a disbursement bank account within a senate that currency these four attributes are very critical i mean it's a very significant while using the this particular triple P. So here we are saying that payment methods. So which payment method currency, uh, let me say, sorry, uh, methods we are going to use under this particular triple P that we have to select it. If you want to specifically mention any specific uh, methods that we can choose here, if you go and click on specify, you can select by clicking add button here. So since it is not required, or you can give any standard things. Let's say example, check. So I'm selecting check for testing purpose, right? So similarly, you can choose any of the payment methods 
which is based on the client requirement and uh, disbursement bank account. So here we need to understand thoroughly disbursement bank account. It means that how or which bank account we are going to use to release the supplier payments. That's what it is saying, disbursement bank account. So if you want to keep any specific bank account that we can select it here. Or if you want to use all the bank accounts, then you can keep it as a L tab. So you, in the previous session, we have created one bank account. So just we can keep that as a default one here. I want to use specific bank account. I don't want to use any other bank accounts, right? What is our bank account name? Yes. Yeah, Amex bank account previously we created. So just I selected the, the same bank account here and business in it. I don't want to use any other business in it other than I yes, yes one. Yes, select yes one business in it. Similarly, currency. If you want to use this particular triple P for all the currencies, yes, that we can choose. Or if you want to make only the specific currency, then you can select only currency here. First, we can select as a USD dollars. So now we selected all the features, which is mandatory or which is not mandatory also. Payment systems. If you want to use this particular one, you can use or you can keep it as a blank since it is not a mandatory field. Payment. Another payment we have, there are few things are significant, but here are all the things are optional. So here it is saying as a document grouping rules, how we are going to use this particular payment file. Right. So you let's say example unique remittance identifier or remittance message or due date. Based on this, it will group all the payments, isn't it? So you can see your payment reason, settlement priority. So these all the things will be based on the client requirement. Since it is an optional field here, no need to set anything at all. Similarly, payment file. So here we are saying. Once you create the triple P, after that we will be creating the payments also, right? So that how it is going to be generating that. Here, since it is optional, but here can I will just I want to show you which other things are most importantly. So here you can say which one you want to go for it, or you can keep it as a blank also, no problem, right? And the payment grouping rules. So under this payment uh, grouping rules, we do have a couple of significant things saying group by business unit. How the payments are going to, uh, going to group based on the business unit or first party legal entity or payment date. So based on your need, we can choose the this checkbox which is needed. So far now it is not required so that I, I, I am keeping as a blank everything. And similarly payment limits. So if you want to set any kind of limitations of the payments that will be possible here, you can select the currency and uh, value, uh, the amount value, right? If you give the specific thing, automatically the system will take care of the many parts. Number of payments, how many you want to give, and uh, conversion rate type, which rate you want to use it. So here you can controlling all the things by creating the triple P bank intersections we have here, right? And grouping, grouping also is not required more, but you can see here, transaction grouping rules, payment date, disposal bank account, and uh, ultimate debater, I mean, say data. So whatever you can use, you can use it here. But since it is not required, just in keeping as a blank everything, remove the reporting. So here, just I want to tell you a few things. Payment file register. So this is saying how the payment file register will get generated on what basis, on which format. You can choose that the register format here. This one or any other things. You can you can do the customize also. But since we are creating the testing, so we're going to go, go for only one thing. 
and automatically submit when payments are confirmed. So this is the one is most important saying when this particular payment file register will get generated. We are going to set that automatically submit when payments are confirmed. So if you keep this one, automatically it will generate the register based on this particular checkbox. And the positive pay. Positive pay is nothing but, so how many checks were missing to suppliers, right? So this is the one very good feature, the EVS and uh, cloud also. This particular payment, uh, I mean to say positive pay file will generate by user or automatically that file will be sending to the banks. The reason being to do the validation of the checks what we release to the suppliers. So let me select the format here. File prefix, if you want to put any uh, prefix here that you can possible, let's say example, I'm giving PP. It's not required, just example proofs I'm giving it. Automatically transmit files. If you want to put this one, yes, you can do, do, do that. But since it is not required, just keep it as blank. Separate remittance advice. So this is nothing but as notification. Say, let's say example, when we are going to create a payment against the invoices for the suppliers. So the Oracle has the capabilities to generate the separate remittance advice based on the invoice value. And then that particular notification will go to the supplier saying that these are the amount is going to be paid to you. So against XYZ invoice numbers. That's what it is actually. And here you can choose the format, which format you want to go for it. There's one format that we have, separate remittance advice format, right? And this one, how is to be sending? Automatically submit when payments are confirmed or allow multiple comments for payment file. Just you can select for the first one. If you want, you can do this also, but it is not required right now. Just keep it as this blank. And conditions all payments are specific one yes all the payments i am saying that and the delivery method so this is talking about that how this particular notification should go to the suppliers which method that is right either if email or fax or printed ID, it will go for as email right and regulatory reporting if you want you are going to use this particular thing anywhere under the regulating you can use it otherwise you can keep it as a blank no reporting so these are the fields you need to create before you are saving this record additional information this is nothing but as a kind of dff extra values you can capture under this particular tab right just go and save this record just keep this is our triple p Process save and close. Done. So if you want to see again that what we have created, just copy paste the name. You can search. Yes, this is the one you can see. Right. So this is how we can create payment process for file. Thank you.